How's it guys? Uh, Jamie DC here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add the voltage input for your KK2 board that you can set your voltage alarm. I'm going to be doing mine slightly different. I did it last time and how everyone else is doing it. What they're doing is they're soldering a wire from that point and that point, sticking it out the side. But my board's raised on my quadcopters. So what I figured is why not run everything underneath a lot neater and obviously that'll make it look cooler. So your positive lead over there has got a hole through the board, a veer. So what my plan is, is to use a pin, set of pins similar to what you found in your receiver. I bought these while I was down in Durban. Um, using those, and I'm going to put the positive to the center and the ground to the outers. That way I can't get the polarity switched and potentially blow anything up. So I'm going to place it at an angle there, and a servo, standard servo lead is just going to press on once I'm done. Which is going to be really convenient, it's like a low profile, it's going to sit underneath the board and I can just duct it off to the input to my ESCs and then I will have, in theory, an accurate power reading. So, first thing you're going to need is this three pins. You can get them from Radio Shack or one of the other places. Um, obviously you're going to need your KK2 board. So what I'm basically going to do first is heat my soldering iron up nicely. It's actually a little bit cold. Um, and then firstly I'm going to tin the middle one. So I'll just get the solder nice and warm. Go. Turn the others as well. The others are not so important. It's the middle one you want to turn first. You want to just turn the veer. Preferably with the hole still open. Okay, and then you're going to want to do that. Okay, now if the hole isn't open, it's not going to want to go through. So there's some skill comes into it. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the servo plug onto it so I can keep it level. I'm going to put it in there and I'm going to heat the pin up. As I heat the pin up, it's going to drop in. And then, just to be sure, I'm going to add a little dollop of solder to it. A little dollop of solder added. Okay, now I know that it's not going to touch anything because my plug here is all plugged in. Okay, next thing, you're going to need a short piece of wire so that you can connect those two together to the ground. So first let's just turn the ground. There we go. Um, if you're going to be running servos off your board, you're going to want to bridge some of these out um, and bring them to your 5 volt power so that you've got um, voltage on them. But I'm not going to be running servos at this stage, so that's not that critical for me. Okay. There we go. The pins do tend to move in there, so you just got to watch that. Um, and then you're going to need to make the right length piece of wire. You're going to be using that. Now that's got a piece of wire there. It's got um, a piece of insulation, a piece of wire sticking out that side. Let's just zoom it back to my KK board. Okay, now that I've got to zoom back down on the KK board, um, you're going to want to tin the piece of wire. Oh, okay. Beware, it will get hot um, when you tin it. Especially tinning this side. So I'm going to tin it. Uh, oh, okay. There we go. Okay. It's now tinned and really hot because I just burnt my hand on it. Um, now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to solder the piece of insulation between the two pins, and then once that's soldered in, you can then you can then bend it down position. Okay. This also acts as a bit of a reinforcing for the plug. Let's just do that, swing it round. Go, one side done. Second side done. Ground done. Okay. And then you just need your trusty pair of side cutters, of which my new ones I do not know by their level. Okay, 
then all you need is your trusty side cutters. Um, zoom in on it. Well, I've got it nicely in focus. These are my nice. These are actually just Hobby King ones. Um, they're like a dollar. They're cheaper than any that I can buy here, and the quality is actually way better. And your finished product is going to be something to that effect. So you make sure that you're you insulated from the different pins, um, and that you connect it ground. The middle pin is your um, positive which is the same as any of your servo leads. So if you plug, if you rig up a servo lead for that, there's just your red and your black, and you put it that way, or you decide that you want to put it that way, you're not going to blow anything. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please rate, subscribe. Um, yeah, that's about it.